strangely the exact question that you ask for your audience and though i did not give you a heads up is <laughs> what is one tip you would give for someone starting out on the whole show like there's been like so much nugget of information but what is the first thing that you would ask them or what first tip that you would give them uh to it to be the host is that what you mean yeah if someone is saying that like hey i'm looking to start my own show what do you think i should do okay well i think we already talked about it a little bit but i think it's really the the key is mm. you better want to do the show passionately mm. and you'd better love what it is you're going to focus on and if you don't i think that you have a real risk of it not going very far because you're going to go this is not what i do it's not what i'm interested in it's and i i have to guess and that's all it is is a guess that a lot of people start shows because oh this looks like it'll be fun and mm. they get five shows in or six shows in and they they run out of things to talk about or things to say because they're not deeply into it i would say one of the advantages that i have that is i think important for someone that wants to host a show though it clearly can't be for everybody is that i think unlike a reporter i'm mm -hmm. not a reporter i'm an actual active creator i actually mm -hmm. am a writer I'm actually a director and a producer. And so I'm active and I've been a teacher for a long time. I'm active at what it is that I'm questioning people about. Mm. So when I'm having a conversation with a guest, they feel really confident that they're talking to someone that understands what it is they're going through. So I think it's right. helpful, if not critical, for a person asking the questions to have a deep understanding of what the guests are are thinking or going to answer unless they are purely a journalist and they're asking questions to right. only gain information with no sense of it. My show, by the way, I attempt to make it conversational. Right. It's not a pure Q&A. It's not, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to sit back and wait for you to finish every answer. I'm going right. to dig in and go try and have a back and forth with you. And guests, love that because it, mm. they then know that I'm not, you know, um, uninformed. They know that they right. can trust having a conversation with me. So those are the important things I would tell someone that wants to host their own show. Do a show again, like we said before, if you are into bicycles, do a show about bicycles. Right. If you have a passion for something, that's what you should do your show about. And that will come through. That'll come shining through. I love this tip. Do a show about what you're passionate and it aligns with like your passion. It aligns with your livelihood of what you do. And that will like automatically show and take it to the whole next level. Um, great tip. I think this is.